All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing uh, silhouette winter trees. So let's get going. All right, so for this project, it was another printout of um, something I found on Google Images. And it's a tutorial of how to make this. Now, ignore the one on the bottom. Uh, that's for another video. Uh, probably the next one after this one after this. Um, but uh, on the, the one on the top has about nine directions. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do all of them. So it looks like the first one is just an example of what it's supposed to look like at the end. So actually, it looks like it's going to be a total of maybe seven directions instead. So it should be quite easy. So let's get going. All right, so the first thing it's telling us to do is make the lines for the snow and the hills on the bottom. Um, I highly suggest you do this in pencil first, just in case if you mess up. I'm gonna do it in marker, uh, just so uh, you guys can see a little easier on camera. So first of all, let's draw the snow. So I'm gonna go over here, draw maybe one hill, stop halfway, maybe start again right over here, and then continue on all the way, and then maybe a hill towards the back, maybe right around here. All right, so now I got my snow mounds. Next step is to add the tree trunks for the trees. And we're gonna go all the way up. So let me add one right here maybe, just as it says in direction number two. And maybe I'll draw another one right over here. And since this next one is further back, uh, it doesn't tell us in the directions, but I'm gonna make this one a little bit skinnier. And that's gonna symbolize that it is, the trees are getting further away and they're getting smaller because they're further in the distance. All right, now it's telling us to add some branches, so not a big problem. So let's add some. Maybe one branch here. Maybe one branch kind of going off the page a little bit. Like that. Another one like that. All right, looking good so far. Let's add some more going this direction. And then some this way. All right, and it's looking super fancy. All right, on those branches, let's add more branches going away from those branches. So let's add some more over here maybe. Maybe add one going this direction. Some on this one. Kind of add another one right there probably. This one can go this direction. This way. It looks like we're doing a good job of adding branches and I think it's a safe spot to stop. So I'm gonna stop right there. All right, so now I'm going to add the thickness in the branches to make it like a silhouette. And what I mean by that is to make them solid black. So I'm gonna get another marker, just so I don't uh, waste my Sharpie. And I'm just gonna fill in the whole entire thing completely solid black. So here is my first tree. Being as careful as I can. There we are. If I miss some white spots, that's okay. There we are. Let's do the uh, branches next. And yeah, I could have just jumped straight into this um, step from the beginning, but I want to uh, plan out my branches a little more better. So I took my time and did that. So here's my other one. There's another one right there. Okay, we're almost done here. All right, one last tree. Okay. Perfect. All right, so those are the trees, and um, you can't quite see them because um, there's light shining behind it. So that's how it, that's what explains that uh, problem right there. All right, let's add the moon of where the light's coming from, and I think I'm gonna do a nice round circle, probably right around here. So the moon's gonna be a little bit lower than usual. If you want to trade something around, that's probably be best. Um, I'm just gonna try my best doing it freehand with a pencil. There we go. All right, next up is to try to add where the shadows will go. So maybe for this tree, so since this is where the light's coming from, I wanna go this direction for this tree. 
So maybe trees go in that direction for this tree, since the moon's over here. The tree will go this direction, or the shadow will go this way. Okay. And last but not least, this one has come from this way, so this tree will start shadowing, go in this, this direction instead. All right, so now I have the placements for the shadows. Um, the next best thing is to color those shadows in. I think the best thing I can use is probably uh, a gray. So I'm just gonna use just a regular old Crayola gray, and I'll go from there. So here is one shadow. Here is another shadow. Let me just try to get a good angle at it. Here we are. It's nice and well. Let's try another shadow right here. All right, shadows are all done. I'm gonna try to go back and make it darker towards the front of the tree. There you go, it's a tad bit darker and a tad bit darker, there you go. All right, shadows are all done and looks like the pictures come together really nicely. All right, let's see what the next step is. The next step is just to add a nice blue background. So I'm gonna take my blue marker. Uh, it probably look better with paint, um, but I'm gonna see how this works with the marker itself. So let's just start doing the background just like this. All right, so this might take me a while, just uh, bear with me. So I think the best thing to do if I'm doing a marker is to outline the edges first. And I can go on top of the <laughs> I can go on top of the tree branch because it says black, so it won't do anything if I go on top. I might just make a little bit of a shade, but I'm okay with that. Alright, I'm gonna do the hill so I don't interfere with my snow. Alright. Last but not least, I'm just gonna outline the outsides of the trees. And then while I'm at it, I might as well color the inside between the branches. Because that part's easy. Alright, so once I'm done uh, going around all the branches, um, it should be easy to do the rest of the picture. Um, while I'm at it, I might as well go around this uh, moon shape I created. And make it nice and thick so I don't run into it later. All right, nice and clean. All right, let's try to do the other half of the branches right here. All right, I'm almost set to do the remaining parts of the sky. I have some tricks here. I'm not sure if they'll work. We have to wait until the blue dries. And then um, we'll see if it uh, works. All right, let's do the remainder of the sky here. There we go. Let's do the side while we're at it. So we do nice, long, and clean, precise strips of blue here, and fill in the missing spots afterwards. Nice and organized. There we are my time nice and slow and then while I take it slow with these markers the markers will last way longer there you go once I'm done let's do the next side I'll go down this time there you go all right let's go all the way across this time there we go nice and straight there we are all right, let's go back and forth until we uh, reach the snow here Let's fill in the blanks. There we go. There's some blanks right there. I'm gonna leave that because that's actually gonna be good for later. I'm leaving some of the white spots. You will see why it's good for later. Oh, I missed one. I missed a side of a tree. Let's add it right there. All right, now let's fill in this area. This is a lot of blue. <laughs> now you can see why that um, I chose um, paint as a suggestion, because you might be able to fill in the space a little easier with a paintbrush. All right. 
Alright, while I wait that for the to dry, um, my best suggestion to make this more advanced because it looks like the directions are done, uh, is to take a, a really light blue and a white, and the white's gonna be for the sky, so we're gonna have to wait until the sky dries. And then the blue, the light blue, is just for a faint um, glow into the hills for the snow. So as you can see, I'm doing it very hard. I'm pressing lighter as I go down. Press hard and then lighter as I go down. Hard, now press lighter. And last but not least, same thing again. Hard, then light. There you go. Now the hills have a little bit more of a glow to it. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll see. Um, so my idea was to take a white, um, just a white uh, crayon, and try to make dots here and there. And it is working, so I'm glad I tried it. There we go. And the reason why I told you that you shouldn't be able to, or you shouldn't have to fill in all these uh, white spaces that you must have missed with uh, your marker or the crayon or whatever, um, this symbolizes as snow. So it's okay if you miss some spots because it's actually helping us in our picture. All right, so half the drawing's done. Um, my hand's hurting a little bit because <sighs> it's tiring to make dots. But you know what? At the end, it'll be all worth it because your drawing will be nice. It looks like a lot of hard work has been spent on it. And you can tell that you took your time on it. And trust me, guys, when I say, um, when you take time on art, your artwork turns out way better. One time I spent like, I think, the longest time I spent on a drawing was probably 16 hours. Not all in one sitting, obviously, but the drawing itself took 16 hours and it turned out amazing. All right. So this is the thinnest product of the winter uh, silhouette trees. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video and uh, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.